Eight years ago, me and my wife bought this 100 year old abandoned farm on the countryside in Norway. We have been working constantly to make this into a sustainable, self-sufficient paradise for us and our kids. With loads of hard work, we have brought back life to this farm by adding animals and growing an increasingly portion of our own food. An important step on the way is to make sure that our animals have enough food for the winter. And so today, we are going to make hay. So the forecast has promised us nice and sunny weather like this for at least the next seven days and that means it's time to make hay. And to do that we are going to use this 70 year old German machine. So when this machine rolled off the German assembly line during the 50s, the World War II was still fresh in everybody's mind. Girls were raised to be stay at home wives and the most advanced entertainment center that people had were a radio. So it was a completely different world than today. Well, before we attempt to start anything, let's start by seeing if there is some oil in there. So that looks good. And then some fuel. So let's see if we can get this old machine started. So this was a big surprise. I have not started this in over a year and it just started right off on the second pull. So that's amazing and not at all expected. Normally it's quite a workout to get this machine running. So it was probably also not a very good idea to start this right outside my kid's bedroom after bad time. I'm guessing my wife is probably not too happy with me right now. So what we need to do now is to top off these tires with a bit more air because they are a bit flat and it's probably then a good idea for us to go and cut some grass and be gone for some time until things settle down. So I'm having some trouble with this old machine and that's maybe to be expected when it's 70 years old. So one of the problems is that the, the gas needs to be adjusted. If I let this go, it just stops. And that's also a big problem right now. And that's because last year I managed to break the clutch handle. And so I moved the clutch wire over to the brake handle. And that's on the same side as the gas. Now it's really difficult to gas and clutch on the same time, especially on this. So I could of course fix this, but I don't have new parts now. And also I don't really have time because I don't know how long this nice weather will last. And so when the 70 year old equipment is failing, the only logical thing is to go for the 100 year old equipment. So this relic is from the early days of the farm. And this is at least 100 years old. So, I'm guessing this is the backup. And then this happened. Now I'm guessing that's to be expected, as this is about a hundred year old and completely ravished by termites, but also it's really inconvenient because we need to cut this grass. So let's see what we can do to fix this. So yesterday's repair did not go according to plan, but today it's a new day and the weather is still holding, so we will try again. So the wood is actually so hard that the screws broke straight off. So we will need to try something else. So I'm not really sure if the people that made this uh, would laugh hard or be proud of this repair job, but fixing the equipment that we have is in line with old farming traditions, so I'm guessing that we are good. So this field is putting up quite the fight. Now I managed to do it again. I broke the entire blade of this time because I drove it into a grass hill and it got stuck. So let's see if we can repair this.
So I can't really weld this. Every time I try to weld on this, I just burn straight through the blade, uh, even with low heat. So I think my welder is just a bit too rough for this kind of weldings. So I'm quite confident that this is going to break again, uh, but we will see how far we get before that happens. I will just need to be really careful. Broke again. I had another go at welding the blade. We will see how long this holds. Broke again, and this time on another place. Our farm was abandoned during the 60s due to the rise of modern farming technologies. All the farms were forced to become more efficient or get out of the game. The farms on the steep rocky slopes in the western side of Norway could not utilize the big modern farm machines and so many were forced to find other jobs. Some continue farming as a hobby but many sold their animals and stopped caring for the fields that had been farmed since the Vikings. Much of our farm equipment is from the time where the farm was still active. Some of it is probably over a hundred years old and are therefore in a really bad condition. So once again we are back at the 70 year old machine. Now I cannot believe that this could be any worse than the nightmare that we have just been through. So I'm going to give this another try. So I'm guessing that 70 year old farming equipment is a bit better than 100 year old farming equipment. Now I did clean the spark plug and adjusted the carburetor a bit to keep it at least running. But there's something completely wrong with the troll because sometimes the RPM is through the floor even though I'm not doing anything. So let's just say it's been really difficult to drive this thing. Now this needs some work but at least the grass is down, that's the first step. Now we need to dry it. So stage one is finished. Uh, the next thing we are going to do now is to turn the grass and fluff it a bit. And we need to do that every day until it's dry. Because if we leave it as it is now, lying flat on the ground, it won't dry as well. It needs to get up and fluffed and get some air. And we need to continue doing that every day until it's dry. And then we can take it in. So it's morning on day three 
I've just turned the grass again. This is the first time and it's incredibly hot today. And if this continues all day, it could very well be dry by this evening. So we will see. So it's evening on the third day and I've turned the grass two more times today. So all in all, I've turned it three times today and now it's finally dry. So how can I tell that this grass is dry? Well, it's the feel of it, most of all. It's crunchy, it makes this kind of crunchy sound. If it were still wet, this would be greener and it would also be soft. Now, of course, I do also have many, many years of experience with this. Ever since I was a child on my grandfather's farm, we used to jump in the hay when we were small. And when we were older, we used to help by turning the grass and even cutting it with a mower when we were old enough to drive it. So, of course, that also helps. So it's really important that the grass is completely dry before we take it in because it can actually catch on fire if it's not completely dry. So that sounds a bit strange because you would imagine that dry grass would burn better than wet grass. And you would be right if you tried to light it on fire. But that actually brings us back to the reason why we are drying the grass. And that's because of preservation. As many people know, dry food can hold a lot longer than wet food. For instance, on your kitchen, I bet that you will find some cereal or grain or stuff like that that you can store for months. But if you try to put a piece of meat or something in the same place, it would rot in a few days. And it's the same with the wet grass. And that brings us back to why it can start to burn. And that's because when it starts to rot, it will actually make a lot of heat. And if you have a lot of grass pushing down, you will get pressure and heat, and that will generate more heat. And if most of the grass is dry also, it will catch on fire really easily. So many people have burned down the farm on, on this. So, but anyway, I am feeling confident now that this is safe to take in, that it is completely dry. So let's get to it. So the last of the hay is loaded and that's a good thing because I even broke my pitchfork and the mosquitoes are getting quite annoying. <laughs> so we keep this shot. Now we need to get this in house and then we are done for this time. We also... So we do need more hay than this. So we usually cut this field again later this year when the grass has grown back out. Now, if you do want to see another video from our farm, then take a look at this one next, and I'll be seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.